We are now 28 league games in our championship season with Crystal Palace and we have well and truly found our stride. So since the game against Barnsley, we are undefeated in the league. The first game was a 3-1 away win against Swansea, Remberg, LaRue and Zappa Zoddy with the goals. Next up was a disappointing 1-1 draw against Middlesbrough. Our former man Jorge Coronado got a goal for them in the 47th minute. Jacob Samuelson equalised with 10 minutes to go. Away from home against Blackburn next, a 3-1 win. Nacho Gonzalez and Jacob Samuelson with a brace. A really tough tie away from home against West Brom. I believe they were in third position at the time of playing, but we got a 1-0 win. Calvin Salkin with the only goal in the 11th minute. Derby was sitting top at the time of playing and we managed to beat them 1-0 at home. Luke Matheson with the only goal. Millwall was sitting second and we beat them at home again. Gilbert Leroux with a brace and uh, absolutely fantastic set of results there. We then went away from home against Peterborough and won 1-0. Leroux again with the only goal of the game. We then beat Brighton 1-0 at home. Pat Saki Denley with the only goal in the 38th minute. Back-to-back -back draws followed that. They were a little bit disappointing. A 1-1 home draw against Sheffield Wednesday. It was a 92nd minute equaliser that crushed our hopes and dreams. We then drew 1-1 away from home against Everton. It wasn't a bad result this. We were down to 10 men for the final 10 minutes as Gilbert Leroux picked up an injury and we'd already made all three subs. Jacob Samuelson with the goal in the ninth minute for us. And finally was a 3-1 home win against Leicester City. They were sitting fourth, so it was a very, very tough tie. Lewis Lorenko, Curtis Booth and Jacob Samuelson with the goals. And that, my friends, sees the Skybet Championship table looking like this. We are now top of the table. Level on points with Derby, but we do have a game in hand. It is still pretty type, tight within the top eight, eight teams or so. There's only 12 points between us and Barnsley and uh, us and Middlesbrough in eighth. So a bad run of form could easily set us back quite a ways. But having after how we started the season, it was very choppy. A lot of draws, a lot of defeats. We have well and truly found our stride. And we are now real contenders for the Skybet Championship. But that brings us to today where we have back-to-back -back away games. The first of which is against Rotherham. They find themselves sitting in the relegation zone. They we then face Burnley away from home who are well and truly in the contention for the automatic promotions and sitting fourth in the league. So this is the side we're going to go with for today's first game. Baker in goal, Matheson, Fernandez, Cornio and Kirkwood in the defence. Gonzalez and Sulkin in the midfield. Oscar Remberg, Curtis Booth, Killian Adam and Jacob Samuelson leading the line. 4-4-2 from Rotherham. I think we actually struggle against 4-4-2. We'll have to wait and see how this game goes. We might need to change some things maybe in the second half if things aren't necessarily going our way. But uh, not long to go now before the January transfer window. We've got a lot of business to do and uh, that'll be the next episode. First highlight of the game comes four minutes in. Booth tries to head it to Gonzalez. He does win the ball back though after Rotherham intercept out of Oscar Remberg on this left, uh, right hand side. It does get cleared by Rotherham. Don't let them counter. They are playing a counter attacking tactic. Deegan's in behind. Poor finishing. Our second highlight of the game comes from the resultant goal kick. So uh, it seems like this first five minutes is going to be pretty action-packed as Sulkin finds Kirkwood on this left-hand side. He's got three men in the box, four men in the box. He goes outside the box to Gonzalez and Nacho Gonzalez. Why is it every time I do a live com, we score some absolute wonder goals and that is absolutely fine by me. His fourth goal of the season is usually... Just the man who keeps the ball ticking, he keeps possession. But uh, in this game, he's turned absolute beautiful long shot taker. We will drop from our attack and team mentality to more of a positive one. Um, help try to counterbalance their counter attack and tactic. And we have ourselves another highlight. 18 minutes in down this left hand side again. Rotherham do win the ball and play it down the line. And Ford is going to get there first and he gets past his man. He's in the box, he's in behind. And it's a great save by Baker to keep our lead intact. Corner now for Rotherham United. Markandia is taking it. It's over the top of everybody. We we love to see it. So despite a lot of possession and us being 1-0 up, I don't actually think we're playing that well. Rotherham definitely have their own um, mentality and strategy to get into this game. And if it wasn't for some poor finishing, they could easily be at least level, if not ahead. But we have ourselves a final highlight before the first half ends, probably. Curtis both picking up the ball. On the right-hand side, 43 minutes in. Gonzalez and Rainberg combining, trying to switch the player. We give the ball away. Thankfully, Kirkwood is there to pick it back up. Curtis Booth 
to Killian Adam on this left hand side. Whip it in, son. Back to Renberg. He hits the post and it's cleared. And there we have it. Half time. Rotherham United nil. Crystal Palace won. We're relatively content with that. We'll tell the boys we're happy and kick off for the second half. First highlight of the second half comes 53 minutes in. It's Rotherham who are on the attack with Jordan down the left hand side. It's whipped in. It's cleared by Fernandez. Oh, Rotherham, playing and about between the defence and midfield, give the ball away and we now have the counter-attack opportunity. Remberg, though, sort of wastes it by trying to go for the cross there. Thankfully, we do keep possession and Kirkwood picks it up on the left-hand side and it's cleared once again. It's Rotherham who will be counter-attacking Ford, driving into the box, going for goal. And again, poor finishing, letting Rotherham United down in today's game. Only got around 15 minutes or so to go. We will look to make some changes. We'll bring on Ted Barton. For he's one of our youngsters with pretty high potential on that right hand side for Oscar Remberg. Uh, Zapasodi could come on. We'll bring him on for Calvin Salkin in the centre midfield. Leaves us with one sub to go in case of injuries. We have been caught out by that a few times in the last few games. So I want to make sure we have it available should we need it. And that is offside or push. Or is it a goal? It is a goal. Zapasodi gets his goal after coming on two minutes later. And it's a Killian Adam corner headed down by Jacob Samuelson. And Zappa Soddy with another great finish at the top bins. No chance for the goalkeeper. Oh, Cornio dilly-dallying on the ball and Ford goes for the chip. That was uh, ambitious considering you're 2-0 down, mate. Thankfully, Baker was equal to the challenge and made the save. Corner for Rotherham, 90 minutes in. Oh, they sh probably should have got one back hitting the woodwork. Markandia plays it back in. Cornio clears. And time is ticking away and there we have it. A 2-0 away win against Rotherham. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure if that's our game in hand or not. We will take a look at the league table after this Burnley game. But I will see you there. Much harder game coming up. Oh, went a little too far whilst I was playing through. We are against Burnley away from home. Uh, it's pretty much our strongest first and 11. Not many injuries in our squad currently. Burnley sitting in fourth. So it's going to be a very difficult game. Particularly as we are away from home. But... We'll wait and see how it goes. I'm going to start in a balanced team mentality rather than the attacking that we usually start with. Um, Jonas Wind has been probably alongside Adam Ida, one of our biggest concerns throughout this entire series. He always seems to score against us and he's been at Burnley pretty much the entire time. We do have a sordid history with Burnley, as uh, let's say, particularly in playoff games. So let's see how we do it, dear. 32 minutes and we get our first highlight. Oscar Remberg. On this left-hand side, receiving the ball from Kirkwood. Salkin down to Samuelson. It's blocked Samuelson's through. He's not offside, is he? Doesn't look like he's offside. And Jacob Samuelson gets his 18th goal of the season to put us 1-0 up. 32 minutes in. Absolutely fantastic. If we can keep this up, we get uh, six points from today's games. We will definitely start to push away a little bit at the top of the championship table. And we have ourselves another highlight. It's a free kick this time. And Zappa Soddy, who's playing in the centre of midfield to dear for us, gets his fourth goal of the season. A great free kick by Gilbert Leroux, our uh, left winger on loan from Lyon. And that's a great header as well. In off the bar. Have ourselves another highlight. Kirkwood with a big kick over the top. Jacob Samuelson's in behind. And that is a fantastic challenge by the Burnley defender. Corner. Remberg to play it in. Back post. It's cleared by Burnley. Samuelson's going to be the first man to it. It's played back out wide to Remberg on this right-hand side. We're keeping possession in midfield. Just don't lose a corner. That's, that's fine. Oh, ball played over the top again. Samuelson's in behind. Great save by Endangala. And the, <laughs> the defender almost ran it in. And that's going to be it for the first half. A pretty quiet game in terms of chances created. But we have been clinical. Burnley nil at Crystal Palace 2. Another highlight now. Burnley giving the ball away. Zappasodi finding Leroux on the left-hand side. His shot is pretty tame. 32. Minutes to go, Leroux with a free kick, goes for it. Good save by Endangala and it's cleared by Burnley. 15 minutes to go, we will look to make some changes. Gilbert Leroux can come off. We'll bring on Maisel Longo. He hasn't got too much game time as uh, Jacob Samuelson hasn't picked up an injury or anything. So uh, we'll give him a rare game on the left-hand side. Make our other couple of subs, bringing on Curtis Booth and Steven Sessegnon. Five minutes to go, are Burnley going to mount a comeback? Tullock plays the ball in, it goes all the way to the back post and Vinton... Should definitely be burying that. Terry Baker's very, very relieved that the shot was pretty poor. And time is ticking away. Then Burnley nil, Crystal Palace 2. There's the full time. Fantastic result against one of our automatic promotion rivals, if not playoff rivals. And let's see how the league table looks like that. We are now three points clear from Derby County in second place. And four points clear from Millwall in third. 
It looks like the league is starting to form with 16 games left. That's between us three for the two automatic promotion spots. Can we do it? I think we can. Seven points clear from Millwall is not a bad place to be at this stage of the season. We've got a big January transfer window coming up. I'm hoping to get a lot of fresh faces in um, to be able to raise funds for the summer. But that's all a bit of a gamble. We'll have to wait and see how it goes in the next episode. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.